Page 26, Traffic Jam Seconds. At the top of the page, they're introducing you to an interval. An interval, simply defined, is the distance between any two notes. Could be two notes played at the same time. Could be a note played and another note played sometime later. Any time later, doesn't matter. Those two notes, of the, there's the space between them, that is the interval. Comes in handy later on. We're kind of giving you bits and pieces to the picture and we'll put the whole thing together as you get bits and pieces. This is another bit and piece of the picture, an interval. I usually teach intervals a little differently, but Faber presents it this way, so I'm going to present it the way they're presenting it. And that is, this is the interval of a second. A second is when the two notes are next to each other. Those are all seconds, intervals of a second. Another way of saying it is, a second is a step. Forget the black keys, though. we're not dealing with that right now. We're just uh, uh, talking more about it a little later on. It's just one step at a time, one step, there we go. A second, that's it. Just know what it is. In the music, when you look at it, you're going to the notes are going to be cocked up. Look at the second line there at the beginning. In the right hand, you have a C and a D. Now, when they look like that and they share the same stem, you play them at the same time. They can't put them exactly vertical because they would overlap. That just causes confusion. So they have to offset them a little bit so you can see the complete circle, the complete thing on both notes, but you play them at the same time. And then the left hand gets the F and the G at the same time, and that's, and that's the interval. In traffic jam, 4-4 four, four time, your right hand is starting way up here, a little finger on G. You need to know the name of that note. If you don't, it, please, just memorize it, G. So you're up here. You're playing all these notes, 18. In the second line, you got these intervals, uh, a wrist just to boom, boom, bounce off the keys. You don't have to go way up. And then the, yeah. Then the last measure, it's just down up on that. When you get a two note slur with a staccato on the last note, you, you, down up. You push off with that last note. Bottom. I don't accent it necessarily. Just when I say push off, that doesn't mean play it louder. It just means you're getting up. Left hand, you're down here, a little finger on this C, and you're playing these notes. And then the second line, you're here. And then the third measure, staccato. Just a little. And then the same thing, last measure, down up. So both hands, boom, boom. The first line has a repeat sign at the end of it. So we're going to play that twice. It's got medium loud. The melody's like both hands, it's like a duet. So just do them both the same. Do them both the same loudness. You see the morning and evening there with the curly braces. That means the first time you play it, you're, you, if you're singing, you'd sing morning. And then when you repeat it, then you'd sing evening. That's how they do that. Huh. Let's try this out slowly. I don't have a lot to say on this. Just we're going to play it with the repeat, just like it's written, but we're going to go slow. Uh, again, I want to check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not doing dynamics. Not a lot of dynamics. You're medium loud of the first line and loud on the second. Okay. So go ahead and put your hands where they go. Here and here. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go.
rest, rest.